This lesson about mesquite it concerns taxa blocks and character matrices and how they're connected and how you can have multiple ones. Uh, and it's partly about uh, how you have to be careful uh, that certain realms of information can and can't talk to one another. So here we have a file uh, for taxa and let's suppose we gathered sequence data and uh, we reconstructed a little tree and we want to uh, say map a character's evolution onto this tree. Uh, one of the things we can do is if it happens to be a character that is not in the sequence data itself, we can create another matrix, enter those character data, and then do the mapping. And so I'm just going to do a very quick one here, make empty matrix. Uh, let's just say it was continuous, and let's call measurements, and I'm not actually going to do the mapping here, but I'm just going to show you approximately about how it would work. 2.4, 1.4, etc. 3.5, etc. Now that we've done that, um, we can go here and we can ask to map those particular measurement characters on this tree. But let's suppose we realize, oh, we've got already saved a matrix in a separate data file. Well, I'm going to save this one I'm on. Uh, for the moment, just to be careful. And I'm going to say, where was that other matrix? And I'm going to go open file, and there it is there, spiders.next. That's where the previously saved data file. So I'm going to go like this, I'm opening it up, and there we go. And now I'm going to say, now I'm going to go back here, and it turns out I've done something wrong, and I'll explain that. And I'm going to go to analysis, I'm going to go to trace character history, parsimony ancestral states. It gives me two choices for the matrix. Uh, uh, um, whose characters we're going to map, the sequence data and the measurements, but not the one that we had had over here, the one the features, the one, the one that I had hoped to open up, and why not? And the reason it's not there, I'm going to go OK and it's trace something that I hadn't wanted, is that these two are separate files, they're separate projects. They're uh, treated by Mesquite as being two completely different universes and they can't talk to one another. So the mistake we made was that we had gone to the, new, the open file, which opens a completely independent project. And instead, and so I'm not going to get rid of this, what we needed to have done was said, I want this project to incorporate the information from that other project. Uh, and so there are different ways to do that, and there are lots of subtleties, and we'll have to do some more videos to cover this, but let's just try include file. So now we're not going to open a separate one, we're going to include it. And now when we go to this, it's going to give us a choice because it's opening it up and it finds that there's this set of tags of four spiders and it says, hey, I think I've seen this before. And so it says it appears to be a duplicate. Do you want to delete the second block? Well, let's just say no. Let's just keep it. Uh, and uh, there you go. It gives a little warning. You can read it. But I'm just going to blunder along because I've just now made another mistake. Uh, now I think, okay, now for sure I can go. I can map that character, right? So I'm going to go back to the tree window here. And I'm going to ask now for the trace to use as the stored matrix, the one we want. And it's still not there. It still says sequence and measurements. And the reason is, by keeping that second block of taxa, we now have two blocks of taxa. They happen to have the same, care, the same taxon names, uh, one of to, to one of which are belonging two matrices, and to the other belongs uh, a single matrix. And the problem is different taxa blocks are treated as separate things in Mesquite, uh, as well as in the Nexus data file format itself. And so um, this particular uh, realm with the MySpiders taxa block can't get the matrix from here. They have to be covered under a single taxa block. So I'm going to actually now delete this taxa block, and I'm going to do it right. Okay, I'm going to delete that, that's all gone, and now I'm going to go back and I'm going to re-include the file in the right way, and that is to this time say I'm going to delete that second taxa block. And now it says, okay, now we're going to interpret all of the matrices that I find in that file and so forth as belonging to our original taxa block, the My Spiders one, and now we can go and we can ask uh, stored matrix, and it says now features, and now we got what we want. Now, it turns out that there are lots of subtleties. If the taxa names are differently named and so forth, there's all sorts of things that 
could uh, come in the way of linking these things up, but that'll be for another video.